Hello, welcome back. In this segment, I will show you an important difference between Li and Mu. If you consider the following two statements in particular, these two, there is not much difference. We are accessing ECX register and using the displacement of negative four, but using Li. Here we are using ECX register, negative four displacement, but we are using Mu. Okay, what is the difference between EAX and EDX after these two instructions are executed? Okay, let's look at what is inside the ECX first. ECX is just a copy of Mu ESP. That means ECX is just address of ESP, right? Wherever ESP is pointing to, to be more precise. Okay. ECX contains the address pointed by ESP. Okay. Which means, um, what is the difference between these two statements, Li and Mu? Let's look at ECX minus four. Okay. ECX is pointing to the top of the stack and then we are pushing two and one. So somewhere we are pushing two and then pushing one. So <clears throat> earlier, maybe let me draw a stack diagram informally. This is four bytes. This is another four bytes because of this push, uh, two push statements. And maybe there is something up front. We don't care what, what, what the content of the stack at that moment. Okay, I'm just drawing with a four byte boundary. Okay, so ECX must be pointing here before the two push statements. Okay, and what is the meaning of ECX minus four? ECX minus four means we go down. Okay, that means ECX minus four is over here pointing to the place two is stored. Okay, the question now is, will EX contain two or the address four bytes below ECX pointing to. Okay. The same question applies here. Will EDX contain the value two or the address four bytes below ECX? Let's confirm that using GDB. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you GDB and, and demonstrate to you that here EDX will have the value two. Here some address will be stored, okay? Related to the ECX minus four. Okay, let's do that. <clears throat> so I compiled already and loaded into GDB and we can look at the state of the register to confirm our climb. Okay, let me put a breakpoint at this location so that we can look at the state of EAX and EDX. Okay. <clears throat> All right, I run. And let's look at the state of EX. As number, which is some address. On the other hand, EDX has value two. What is the reason? The reason why we are seeing EDX to be two is because we are saying mu here, mu ECX minus four. As I shown on the stack diagram earlier, ECX minus four contains the value two. Okay. But on the other hand, Li ECX minus four is actually pointing to the four bytes below the address of the stack before these two push statements are executed. Okay. That is the reason why you are seeing uh, EAX to be this address. In fact, we can actually look at what is inside that address. It should also be two 
as you can see, it's also two. Okay, so this address is nothing but ECX minus four. So the Lee doesn't go and read the content. If this whole thing is an address, it doesn't look at the content of the address. It just sends the address to the EAX register. That's all. On the other hand, if you put an address here, this is an address, move. If you have an address here, it will look at the content of the address and put it into this register, okay? That's the main difference between Lee and Mu when the source is an address. Lee just transfers the address. On the other hand, Mu looks at the content of the address, especially in particular, more precisely, if there is a bracket here, it means memory reference to look at the content of the memory, okay? Although there's a bracket here, in the Lee, it's not going to do memory referencing at all. It's just computing the expression uh, without doing memory reference. Okay, there is no memory content transferred to the EAX because of the way Lee works. Okay, all right. So to sum up, uh, Lee is just a load effective addressing, no memory ad reference. Um, Mu, on the other hand, looks at the memory reference if you put a bracket here. Okay. That these brackets are for memory referencing. That's why you see difference in the value of EAX and EDX. Okay, that's all. Thank you very much for your attention. <clears throat>